Hey, what's up, guys? It's Da Vinci, and today I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna be trying to go for like a 90s, 80s type style R&B type of vibe. So, yeah, man, let's start getting cooking. I'm gonna be using FL Studio today. Um, and I'm gonna start off by using this drum kit I found. It's like this like random like vintage synth drum kit, but it's sick. I'm about to check it out. Alright, what's up guys? Alright, so we're about to go into this drum kit I have. It's called Vintage Drumming Keys. Um, one of my producer friends actually gave it to me. Uh, and there's this one sound pack in there. I think it's called Korg M1. And just like, this drum kit got like hella cool like R&B stuff. So like something I learned about like making these type of beats is that when you're doing the percussion, um, you want it to kind of fill in between like the kicks and snares and the hi hats. So like I try to do my hi hats like not two step like maybe like four step, um, just to like kind of allow like more room between the kick and the snare. So there's not much like hi hat action going on. So it allows room for the percussion. I think I'm gonna pick a better kick though with a little bit more bass because I like I like the kick but I think we need one with a little bit more bass or actually what I could do is I could um, let me turn up the bass a little bit let's see I think I'm gonna try layering the snare too with another snare. Just kind of make it sound a little more like. Fun. Ooh. Let's try these kick drums actually. Ooh. Ooh, that kick is kind of crazy. Alright guys, so now we got a nice little drum pattern going, uh, I think it's time to start on a melody. So I think that one of the best VSTs used to these type of beats is either D50 or Triton. Um, so Triton, I don't actually own them, uh, but I, I actually don't own Triton all the way right now, so I'll just be using the demo, something I gotta like get. But yeah, there's this really nice piano in there I like to use a lot for these R&B beats. It's called, um, let's see, Romance Piano. I don't know what it is about this piano, but. Let me get this wire out the way. I don't know what it is, man, but this piano just sounds really like R&B-ish. So yeah, I'm gonna just try to play. I'm gonna try to come up with some chords to this.
got it. I almost got it. Okay. okay. What's the word? Yeah, kind of like a repetitive, like, repeating type sound to kind of like make it a little bit more like glued together, if you know what I mean. So. add that into that down too why not I just excuse me I just want to layer the hell out of it.
school. Um, let's see. Alright guys, so I kind of did a quick little arrangement on the beat, um, I just made a little intro without the chords, uh, then I have the chords coming after 8 bars right here, the intro, then I have the chords coming right there, so yeah, I basically just, um, oh shit, my bad. Yeah, I basically just um just did a quick little arrangement because I want to try and play a uh, little sign lead over all of it. So what I did is I pulled up a uh, the full sign patch in ARP 2600. I put some reverb on it, um, some Bahala Vintage reverb right here. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a quick little freestyle over this. Playing crazy. Let's go. Try one more time. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna transpose it so because I'm playing in B minor right now. But I'm gonna transpose it so all the black keys are in uh, B minor, so I can kind of just like run my hand up like all the black keys and do these cool little runs with it. Uh, let me just EQ out some of the low end of the reverb. Yeah, that sounds a little better. That's better. Alright. Let's try this. Alright, guys. So I'm about to try to do another take um, with that lead real quick. Uh, yeah. Let's try it. I just want like a couple different takes just to like choose the best one. That one was almost there though. I think I want to play a little longer too because I think that one was a little too short. Imagine right there, we'll just duplicate that. Let's try this time. One more time. <laughs>
crazy take for sure guys so um i'm just gonna pan this a little bit to the right this is how it sounds so, uh, and honestly i'm just gonna try to add my tag into it enjoy this tutorial i hope you guys found it uh helpful or whatnot uh i'm gonna have a drum kit in the description with all the sounds i use in this video so make sure you guys check that out make sure you guys uh subscribe to my channel check out my twitch too follow me on instagram all that and thank you guys so much for watching peace